I just got the email that I have been accepted to the Montreal Makers Market to do the show on December 16th and 17th. And guys, I am super duper excited. <music> Hey guys, it's Zahava. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit more 6 a.m. thoughts. We have exciting news because I've been accepted into the market that I've been dying to get accepted into. We're going to be doing some production for that market. That's Eric sneezing in the background. I don't know if you guys heard him, but I'm leaving that in the video. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about some Etsy uh, changes that have been going on. And also, I've been losing subscribers. So I wanted to discuss that as well. So let's not wait any longer and get right into today's video. I just got the email that I have been accepted to the Montreal Makers Market to do the show on December 16th and 17th. And guys, I am super duper excited because this means that all my plans and all of the uh, 18 plus products that, that I wanted to be selling can actually be sold. For Christmas this year and hopefully I will get all of that into some Christmas stockings before long. So I am hella excited and this means, you know what this means, that we can crack down on production for the market. So very excited and I gotta get this all done before November, <laughs> before I leave. All right, so I gotta go fill out the form, accept, uh, accept the, um, the acceptance and uh, pay the fee and I will see you guys in a little while. So I've just sent up the, the official form accepting the fact that I've been chosen for the maker's market. So I have to wait until Maisie gets back to me so that I can send her the vendor fees. But you know what this means, guys? This means that we can finally do production of the penis banana couch cushions, <laughs> which I'm so excited to do. So I have to go find all my supplies. Now, some of them may be like one-offs because I don't necessarily have the same um zippers so like some might be yellow zippers some might be white some might be black so I have to see what I have but then I mean that's not really a big deal this kind of crowd everyone will just be happy to have a choice so I'm gonna get to work on uh, a whole line of my x-rated products so sorry YouTube if I ever get monetized you will not be able to monetize this video
So, I think it's a good idea. 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 I think Good morning, guys. It is 6.30 in the morning, and I've had a bit of a sleep in today. Um, but I did kind of want to get on the vlog and tell you a couple of things that have been going on in my mind. I woke up this morning. Yesterday, I had like 390 subscribers. And for some reason, this morning, I woke up, and it was like 381. So last night, for some reason, there was a huge exodus from this channel. <laughs> And I don't know what happened. And I guess if you unsubscribed, you'll probably never see this video. But I don't know what I said or what I did that was so offensive that would make like eight people want to leave in like just overnight. I know that when I subscribe to some YouTube channels, sometimes it'll be like not the flavor for me. So I'll subscribe for a couple of weeks and then I'll kind of unsubscribe because I realize, yeah, it's just not suiting my mood for the time being. But to have like nine people unsubscribe overnight that was a little bit weird so that's kind of been like on my I don't know if that's YouTube kind of clearing away defunct accounts or I don't know what's going on because it seems like a really really big um a really big exodus so like sorry I know the glare off my glasses is not great so maybe if I don't stare directly at the camera I don't know but yeah I haven't done one of these like early morning sort of thoughts that have been in my head like in a while but um I was going over some of the pillows that I sewed up yesterday you know for the show that I'm doing maybe if I turn off my monitor but I don't want to do that because then I'm not going to have any light so <laughs> okay sorry so we'll just have to deal with the glare but I was um I was going over the pillows and I realized that as I sewed the two pillows together with the bananas on them I didn't put the Made by Maurice label in them, which I realized after they were closed up and all sewn together and ready. So those are going to go out without branding because I don't have branding on those. So that's something that I have, you know, on my mental checklist of things to worry about. That's something that's on my mental checklist. The other thing I wanted to tell you guys is the Etsy sales have really been in the pits. Like I have had, I think it's like my worst deposit. I'm going to tell you exactly. So right now it is Saturday morning and I'm on weekly deposits from Etsy and right now and th so that is to say that the payouts come every Monday from Etsy and now in the fabric store which as you know if you've been here before is my bread and butter I have like $192.88 so just under $193 on a Saturday October 9th which happens to be my grandfather's birthday but he's been he's been past uh, dead well he's been dead a bunch of years but I don't know how to say that nicely but it it is my grandfather's birthday today my father's father or at least it was um as a side note, but yeah, so it is October 9th and it's a Saturday morning and I'm looking at my Etsy sales and the sales are abysmal. And I think that, I don't know if you guys are Etsy sellers out there and maybe you want to leave a comment down below and let me know how your sales are going because right now it's October and for a fabric store, I should be, I should be getting like a lot of sales right now because a lot of my customers are makers and they would be shopping in October and November. Um, I would even say September and October for the supplies that they need to make their products in order to ship them out starting in November for the Christmas rush um, because they would be buying from me. It would take up to seven business days for my product to get to them and then they would have to do the whole confectionery process and then they would have to list their items for sale and sell them and mail them out and then it would have to get to their customer, right? So I expected my September and October to be much, much busier, but I'm actually really, really scared because I don't know if you guys all remember, but back in September, Etsy did like a weekend where they gave a $5 credit to any order over $25 in value in the UK, in the US and in Canada. And that could have been from a combination of any stores. So 
you didn't necessarily as a customer have to spend all your $25 in one store to take advantage of that $5 off coupon. Now, that is a huge discount. So I think that it's my theory. Of course, I don't know because why would they share private company information? But I think that Etsy is losing profits. I think they're losing money. I don't know if it's because they're doing, you know, I know in the US there's a big push towards television advertising and things like that. I don't see any of that in Canada, but to be honest with you, I don't watch Canadian TV. I just have, you know, subscriptions to like Netflix, Amazon Prime and like Disney and that. So I don't watch TV, but um, I know that that Etsy has been pushing a lot to do like advertising and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's because they're misallocating their funds or they're just I, I don't even know if the people that write the Etsy vlogs, you know, that go on the community posts and go out in the emails and stuff. I don't even know if these people are getting paid. I don't know. I don't know how you get a job at Etsy. <laughs> if anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. But um, yeah, I mean, I just I think that like I've been speaking with some other Etsy sellers and people have been noticing that the sales have been somewhat you know, slower as of late. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments because I woke up this morning and I'm looking at this deposit and I'm thinking to myself, this is like the lowest deposit that I will have had in like a really long time. Um, and it's the lowest deposit, but like every week <laughs> has been lower and lower. And I, I find it very hard to stay competitive because like, if I lower my prices, like if you've been here before, you probably realize I've talked about this before, but if I lower my prices, then I don't get paid. Then I don't have a salary. It's like I'm working for free. And I, I would never ask anybody else to work for free. So like, why should I work for free just so I can stay competitive in the market? So yeah, so those are the things that have kind of been on my mind. My 6 a.m. thoughts at 6.30 in the morning. I haven't done one of these in a while. And I wanted to talk about that because again, like, okay, can I be honest with you? I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. Um, cause I think if you're still here, it's pretty safe. It's pretty safe to be honest with you. So like I went and, and maybe I, I thought that this was the problem, but apparently it's not. And I'll tell you why. So I signed in to all my other Google accounts, right? Cause I said to myself, okay, I'm just going to subscribe to my own channel because yes, I am that much of a loser. Okay. I own it through all my other Google accounts, which I did. So I added like eight subscriptions to my channel yesterday out of my own like separate Google accounts. And then, so I went from like a hundred, no, 383 subscribers to like 390. And when I woke up this morning and I found that I was like 381 subscribers, because I'm thinking, actually, it was originally Eric's idea. So I'm like, so we can blame Eric. But um, so I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe YouTube will see that I've like, you know, increased in conversions and then they'll show me to more people. And I can't be the only person on YouTube that's ever thought of doing this. Come on. Like, if you think I'm the only person, then you guys are just... I don't know, like, or, or if you're, if you're a creator and you're watching this and you've never done this, you're a liar, you're a liar because you've done this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm sure a lot of people are doing it, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so I went from like 383 to 390 yesterday, just cause I was trying to, you know, help the algorithm convert, you know, the channel. I, I you know, I'm, I'm an honest person, but like I felt I don't know. I wanted to give myself like a little push. So I may have cheated a little bit. So anyway, I wake up this morning and I see that I'm down instead of being, I was at 383, I went to 390 and now I'm down at like 381. So there has definitely been an exodus because I went and signed in to my other Google accounts and I was still subscribed to my own channel. So it's not like YouTube discovered it was me and booted me from my own channel. They didn't because I was still subscribed. So there has been like an actual exodus. Um, and I get it. I'm not, nor ever have been, <laughs> nor ever have been everybody's flavor. Um, I get that. I, I say a lot of things I probably shouldn't say. I try and say them with grace. I try and say them with uh, thoughtfulness, 
behind it. Um, but you know, I'm not, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And I, and I get that. That has been pretty much the story of Zahaba my entire life. Um, and I, I'm, I'm getting to accept it. I think that, you know, the more time that I spend alone, the more time I realize that I, I mean, I always knew I was not a bad person, but I know we're sort of like deviating a little bit off topic of like small business things, but, um, you know, it's, uh, I think it's more important to be your authentic self than to be a people pleaser because, you know, you can be obsequious and you can be very popular, but that's, I don't know, can you live with yourself at the end of the day? So I, I think that, you know, in my experience, um, I tend to attract, if we're speaking positively, a lot of very, very strong people. So, um, strong people like with an internal strength. So if people around me are having a harder time dealing with reality, they tend to not want to be in my vortex, if that makes sense. They don't, they don't like to see reality reflected and I'm very good at reflecting, you know, back into life, um, all the things that I absorb by living it. So that's um, maybe a reason <laughs> that I'm just not everybody's cup of tea. And I guess, well, um, I guess that that's, that's just that. Uh, so hopefully those of you who are still around uh, do appreciate the content. And I realize that, you know, I'm not going to please everybody. And, and that's okay. It's just that I, I felt like a little bit slapped in the face to have like, a, I think, like nine, nine people just leave me overnight. Like I didn't even think that such a thing was possible. My subscriber count has gone like up and down, but, um, never to this effect where I feel like I've been scraped. <laughs> so on to better things. the video here for today guys i want to thank each and every one of you who has stuck around until the end and all those of you who leave likes uh or who press the like button and leave comments down below so i hope you guys are all doing really really well and i'll see you again in the next one ciao for now